guys and welcome to another day with some water in today's video I want to show you how to do the fuel ratio mix for an echo leaf blower so let me show you exactly how to do it so that you could actually get to doing what you love and not waste any of your time so enjoy the video please subscribe if you haven't already and hit a like on this video it really helps me Hello guys and welcome to another day with Zamolera. It seems just like I did this recently showing you guys how to mix uh, the right type of a mixture but we also did some other things for this echo blower. So in this video I want to actually get to the point and show you exactly how to get the right fuel mixtures so that you could get back to what you need to do with your uh, leaf blower um, if it's echo of any type of brand this is going to cover any echo leaf blower despite what the uh, manual said uh, previously and this is coming from echo so basically this is what you're going to need to do um, is you're going to need to get one gallon type of a uh, gasoline bucket which i do have right here same one i've used last year you're going to need to get some kind of uh, echo power blend extended life oil you could pick this up at home depot you could order this online i'm going to post the amazon link to the echo blower and to get in this type of oil here um, this is enough to mix six gallons of this so that is pretty good now what helps over here is we have this uh, chart here 3.2 2.6 and one uh, uh, fluid ounces we're gonna need to um, mix 2.6 fluid ounces into one gallon bucket so let's go ahead and actually mix that in here see here I hope you could see this so basically let's just do this get 2.6 and this is going to be enough for one gallon I actually like buying you know this here because it takes care of your other tools as well um, and it's got the measuring cup in here so we're gonna open this up now we're gonna need to open up a gasoline bottle I haven't opened it since last year can you believe it because I was actually making this video five months ago because I was trying to get rid of the leaves but now it's that time again so we we'll basically pour this right in uh, the gasoline right now it's an empty type of bucket um, but all you have to do is add one gallon of gasoline here and that's it just kind of like slush around very lightly and it's a 50 to 1 mix ratio so obviously adding gasoline real simple you know what to do I don't need to make a video about it but if this video was helpful to you guys please consider hitting a like consider subscribing to my channel I make a lot of different how-to videos and I really enjoy helping people so if you're kind of like that kind of person that shares the same mindset I'm pretty sure you're gonna find my channel helpful so thank you so much for watching take care and good luck blowing uh, air out of your uh, blower or you know with your landscaping business um, I also have some landscaping tools including chainsaws and you know like mowers and stuff like that on my channel um, I also came up with some ways of dealing with those uh, if you're interested in that kind of stuff subscribe I have a landscaping uh, playlist as well uh, it's probably not on my main page right now but if you look at my playlist it's in there um, and if you look at the unboxing playlist, I have some uh, of those videos in there as well. But um, I'm going to be also opening up uh, some uh, unboxing, some new landscaping equipment that I bought for myself. And I'm going to be um, fixing my tractor um, when it comes to replacing its belt and stuff like that. So um, you might find that helpful as well because it's like total of three belts. And I already have a video like that for a different type of brand. I have a Troy build but I have um, a different one uh, for a yellow type of uh, tractor, uh, the Cub Cadet type of thing. But anyways guys, I keep adding videos every single day, so my goal is to be helpful as much as possible. So please subscribe. Take care guys, see you in my next video. My name is Serge Zamaleta, I'm 37 years old, and yes, I experienced success after buying my first home for cash. Back in 2011, I was broke. 
but I learned to solve problems on my own. Now I'm helping others to solve their problems. I know what pitfalls to avoid to stay profitable in business. Need motivation to be more successful in your life? Do you have Sprinter Expedite or business problems? Then subscribe. Let's find creative solutions to your problems. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my helpful videos.